Hello guys, this is uh, Kilbert the Barber. Um, I'll be showing you how to do a taper face. So first, start with number two, detachable blade. Make sure you clean it real good all around. Make sure you get all the little hairs that are missing. You know, nobody wants to go home and find the piece of hair standing up. It's fresh out of the shop, you don't want them coming back. Um, now you're gonna use the T outliner. Um, to define where your paper is at. Uh, make sure you get everything uh, nice and clean. Um, the reason why I say that is because uh, we don't want to fade some the hair that we're not going to use anyway, so might as well take it off first. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up. Now we're going to put it as close as possible and make our first uh, dot line. That's the zero with the senior wall. And make sure everything's cleaned up, get everything ready. And usually I like to put it right under the ear load. That will be my guideline. Now we're going to use the T outliner to uh, prepare um, before we do the shaver shaper. And this will make it look nice and smooth. And that will prevent from making any lines. We're going to use the shaver now and clean all that off, make it look nice and bald. Um, sorry if it was a little blurry, but I try my best. So now we're going to use the half and we're going to take about an inch or so. Um, make sure we get all that cleaned up real good. Now we're, going to, now we're going to go ahead and put it a little bit closer. And just go right under where the first line that we made. Now we're going to do a little closer and so on. So. We're, Every time you do it closer, you have to go lower and lower and lower. You know, put your, you know, you're gonna. It's like a, like a ladder. You gotta go down and down. So you're gonna take off the line right there. It should be gone by now. So that's gone. It's nice and smooth. Once you got that over with, you wanna make sure everything's smooth first before you start doing the one, as you can see. Now you're gonna do another inch. Uh, I consider this like one and a half in detachable blades, but it, because it's plastic, plastic doesn't really cut that short and we're gonna put this um, all the way up and just smoothen it out just to prepare it before the 116 which is right here that's the 116 all the way down um, a little bit the same thing we did with the half we're gonna do the same thing with the 116 just little by little going up little by little every time you're going up on the machine on the seniors you're gonna go down on the taper See, as you can see, I don't stay all the way at the top because then you'll make another line. Now we're going to clean it up with the half, make sure you know we're not perfect so we can't really you know get everything at once. So just, just clean up, we're going to go all over again. I, I like to do this so that it's nice and smooth, as you can see. Now we're going to use the 116, and since we already got the tool all around, 116 will make it will not make a line, so this will clean up. You can just get everything smoother. You might not see uh, a difference, but uh, it, does, it actually does. It makes it nice and smooth and it pops. So now we're gonna use the one again. Uh, and we're gonna clean that out. See, there's a line there. Right there, right there. Now we're gonna go. Okay, now we got that line off. Now I'm gonna show you guys how we end it. So, that's the final product for the taper in the back. It should be good enough. Nice and smooth. And now we're gonna do the sides. Same thing, just try to not to push the hairline. Especially there, it grows ugly. Nobody likes when it grows in too fast. Now we're gonna curve it. First, I like to curve it first before I do the taper. And the reason why I do this so that I don't, bl I don't blend hairs that I'm not going to use anyway. I'm gonna do now for the sides, we're going to do the same exact steps that we did on the back. We're going to do on the sides. So enjoy the video and I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you liked it, uh, you can also leave some comments below to let me know what else you would like to learn. Maybe you already are an experienced barber and would like to learn some tricks or maybe other complicated haircuts. So see you guys next time.